Senior Senator from Alaska. Mr. President, there will be many opportunities in the next few days and, and, and weeks following to, to reflect on the life and the contributions of, of Senator Dianne Feinstein. And as has been noted, the, the significant legislation that she advanced over three decades here, um, what that meant to, to her state, to her constituents, really to her country, but also to us. And as I, as I think about the work that we all we all take on here. We know that we are capable of much, but we are made even more capable by extraordinary staff. And one of the things that I have noted over the years is, is the extremely loyal staff that Senator Feinstein had, had built around her. I know that they are grieving today, as, as is Diane's family, uh, so many friends. But I think, I think we, we acknowledge them at this same time of, of this very significant loss of not only a colleague, but of a friend. And I think it's important that people understand that here in the United States Senate, a place that can be so divisive at times, that true friendships actually exist. And whether it is the Republican leader and his wife over the years dining together, or as Senator Collins has stated, just the very generous nature of, of Senator Feinstein sharing, sharing her works, sharing her art, uh, sharing a purse. I still have that seersucker suit. And when we all engage in the annual ritual of donning the seersucker suit, mine is now 20 years old, I think yours is too, but our reality is it is a just a direct reminder of the spontaneous generosity of, of a woman. Diane Feinstein was generous, she was gracious, she was thoughtful, she was kind. There were, there were many times when we were looking into a weekend when we were going to be here and she being from California, me being from Alaska, recognizing that probably neither one of us was going to be making it to that other coast. And she would say, Lisa, let's go to dinner. And sometimes we would just spontaneously make that happen, and other times we would just make the plans. But that was that outreach to do so. And what she did as, as, a, as one of the, the, the female leaders in our women's, women's senators group, was she made sure that the dinners that we, have, that we have engaged in over the years, that those continued. And she'd come up and she said, isn't it about time we have another dinner? And she would be right, and we would organize it. And it was, again, yet a reminder of what it means to come together uh, as colleagues, yes, but really the more that we can do to build those relationships that make a hard job just a little bit easier. And Diane was able to focus on that in a, in a giving and, again, a very generous, generous way. I think it pained us all. It certainly pained me in, in just these past months to see what I believed to be grossly unfair um, attacks on a woman who was in failing health. And I think for some who would focus on that, they would fail to appreciate what this extraordinary woman, what this extraordinary leader had contributed not only to, to the Senate, but again to her state and to her country. And so as we speak of, of the beauty of Dianne Feinstein and all that she gave to this country, I hope we reflect on the words that Senator Murray shared with us, that her commitment to this job, her commitment to the people was so much that she would put her physical health, how she was feeling, some days, we just don't feel like coming in, you know? Senator Feinstein was here. Senator Feinstein 
was with an institution that she cared about. She cared deeply about it. She wanted to make sure that we were the best of the best, and we reflected that. I think she'd actually be really pleased with the resolution about dress. I don't need to go into that on the floor. But Senator Feinstein was a woman who was put together, put together in her presence, but in her bearing. And I think, I think she, she wanted to see the Senate in a dignified and a respectful manner at all time. As I walked in this morning, I thought she probably wouldn't approve of my shoes, and I'm sorry, Diane. <laughs> but, I, but I share this because I think it demonstrates, again, where the commitment of this woman was. It was to the people that she served, but it was also to an institution that she loved and she dignified with everything that she did right until the end. We have lost an extraordinary woman, and we have lost a friend. But they never leave. They'll always be with us, as will Diane. I yield the floor.